What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I'm going to be doing a very simple conceptual breakdown of this map painting that we created for the City Builder 3D trailer. I got a request to do a quick breakdown on the shot, so here it is. Anyways guys, this shot was probably the simplest to do in that whole trailer. This is the live action shot we got from pixabay.com, literally royalty free footage. Just got it off there and yeah, this is the starting point and just kind of we figured, oh, let's add some cool buildings in the background, uh, maybe haze it up a little bit, make it look kind of derelict, and uh, that's what we did. So anyways, that's our starting shot. Let's go ahead and open a Blender, and I'll show you the breakdown of the Blend file. All right, so here we are inside of Blender, and these are the three assets that we used for that shot. These are some of the assets from the Derelict Future Pack. For this specific render, we used the Derelict Large Building 2, the Derelict Large Building 5, and the Derelict Medium Building 2. And I think we might have rescaled them a little bit for this specific shot, but I can't really remember. Anyways, guys, these are very easy to add to your scene, obviously. We just added them to our scene with the buttons over here under the Derelict Future Asset tab under the City Builder 3D tab and uh, these are some of my favorite assets because I just love the texture on them you got some guys you know face here very creepy got some rust coming down the side here and uh, this building is pretty cool too got some pretty nice uh, some pretty nice reflections on the uh, glass here you know some uh, satellite dishes up here some random wires and stuff um, and yeah this is my probably my favorite genre just because I love these kind of movies but anyways let's get started on the breakdown um, so pretty much what we have here in the scene is our three assets next to each other and a plane to create shadows and what we've done here is we've uh, created a camera for our render and uh, if you look through the camera here we have a screenshot of our footage in the background here just so we can line up the perspective of our animation. And uh, to do that, all you would do is go to the camera tab while the camera is selected and just click on the background images and then import whatever image you want. And this isn't for rendering purposes, but just more for perspective. And uh, because the camera doesn't really move around these buildings, all we really have to do is render one frame of these assets and then use them as essentially a matte painting for our final composite. So so pretty much what I did is I uh, added a camera to the scene, lined it up, tried to find a similar focal length to the camera that I think would have been used for the live action shot. I added the three assets to our scene, created a ground plane for shadows to create some environmental interaction to create this shadows only plane so that this plane only renders the shadows of the objects around it. You would just simply go to the object properties tab here and then under the visibility section, you would just click and enable the shadow catcher option here. And then your render won't actually render the plane. It'll just render the shadows that would be on that plane based on its environment and based on the other 3D objects that you have in the scene. Anyways, after that, I created a sky in the scene that matched our light in the live action shot. So essentially what we have here is a very, very soft and bluish uh, background that we're trying to match our shot to. So essentially that's what I did. I tried to match the intensity of the strength of our preview window here closely to what we have over here. And then essentially since there's no sun in this specific shot, or at least not one that's creating hard shadows, that was pretty much it. I just chose the number of samples that I wanted for the scene, in this case 86, and then I rendered it out in 1080p resolution and brought it into After Effects for a composite. I did render a mist past for compositing, but I ended up not using it just because it was very easy to add mist since it was so far in the distance in the compositor by itself. Um, but essentially, if you want to render out a mist pass, all you would do is you would just go to the layer properties option here, and then you would go to passes, and then make sure that your checkbox here is selected. Then you would go to compositing and then make sure that your mist pass has a file output to wherever you want it rendered to. Anyways, that was the process inside of Blender. It was very simple. Pretty much just import the buildings into your scene, add a camera, add the background image, match the perspective, match the lighting, and uh, literally no 3D tracking inside of the 3D program and just exported the uh, image for compositing. And uh, usually I do my compositing inside of After Effects. Hopefully I can do some compositing tutorials for Blender as well, but I still need to get into that some more. Right now I'm much more comfortable in After Effects. What we did in After Effects was also pretty simple, um, but we did a very simple uh, 3D track of the scene, and then we created a null object for our background here so we could track all three of our buildings into the scene. Then what we've done here, I'll go ahead and start from scratch. I'll go ahead and disable some of these layers. 
All right, so here's our render just overlaid basically onto our scene without anything. Then I duplicated those layers and uh, added a tint and played with the levels to essentially create a little bit of mist on each of the buildings and then messed with the opacity of each of these layers. That was our next step. Of course, it also helps to add some variation in the mist paths, which is why I added all these atmosphere layers. So essentially these are just stock footage of atmosphere that I just added over top of everything, which kind of creates a little bit more of a uh, organic feel to everything. Then this uh, layer right here, this is just a mask of the road in the foreground here so that it overlaps like it's in the foreground, like it should be. And then, yeah, pretty much um, to create these reflections, I duplicated the render of each of these buildings and then I rotated it down into 3D space to create where I would expect the reflection to be if this were actually in our scene here, obviously. And then to create the reflection look, I essentially added a levels effect to to adjust for color correction, a wave warp to create a little bit of warping and animated warping so it kind of moved over the course of our footage. And then I added a camera lens blur to uh, kind of blur it into the rest of our shot, like the rest of our sky reflection right here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That's how I made the shot in Blender. Of course, I also added a layer of color correction at the end here just to make it give it that more cinematic look. Um, but obviously the style of color correction that you choose is up to you. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or suggestions and I'll see you guys next time.